Alright. So we gotta go kill some worms. And we got something called the Chronosphere. Uh, uh, war can now activate Chronospheres and temporarily slow down time. Oh, well that's awesome. Uh, is that a piece of gear or a passive ability? No, passive ability. So when I run into those things, I'll just be able to activate them, I guess. Um, okay, so... Oh, uh, where to head to first? Um... And over the side he goes. Oh, another one. I'm just trying to think, what do I want to do first? I guess I'll go to Fulgrim, see what he's got for sale. Um, probably won't buy anything yet, because I'm probably going to find soul chests along the way. Um, also, here there's that flight thing. I'm going to try this again. Someone meant, someone was saying that... Oh, oh, I fell. I didn't drop. Okay, yeah. It, it, it seems like it is possible to get to that, that blue glowing orb down there for flying. I just have to jump and then wait to push... Oh, shoot. I think I almost had it there. I just have to wait for the double jump until I'm just about at the bottom. There we go. Oh, but that doesn't allow me to get... See, there is something down there. But yeah, it seems like that blue sphere is more for pushing me back up than... Oh! Well, it spawned me over here because I was closer. Yeah, it seems like that blue sphere is more for pushing me up here. I don't know if I can get down. There might be a way, but I'm not going to worry about it because it looks like there's probably an easier way some some other direction because it looks like it slopes down. So maybe there's a way to get down to that slope somehow and then if I want to get out quickly, that's what that blue sphere is for. Yeah. I don't know. But for now, uh, let's go see Vulgrim. And see what he's got in stock in the way of items. Fulgrim? Oh, there we go. Um, oh, new item for the the gun. Augments the amount of damage inflicted by Mercury. I guess that's the damage. And then, yeah, now he's also got uh, different abilities for the fist as well. Okay, let's trade in these artifacts. 2,000 more souls. Oh, an affliction. Plague enemies with an affliction that causes damage over time. That doesn't sound amazing. I might want to get Blade Geyser up another level, though. Yeah, there's so many choices to spend my money on. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But for now, uh, let's take the Serpent Hole and head to the first area. The Crossroads. I know there's one ice here that I can gain access to. I guess I could walk to a lot of these locations um, rather than take the serpent holes. It would probably be quicker to make sure that I cover all the ground. Man, these serpent holes are annoying. Why not just teleport me there? Why do I have to go through this little minute or two minute walking thing? It's not even a minute, but still, like, it's a waste of time. There's no conflict here at all, it's just walking. Okay. Now, uh, over here there is some ice. Okay. Oh, I can see a chest back there. Alright, what do we got down here? Hellfire. Instant instills a melee weapon with the element of fire. Huh. Elemental damage. Okay. And then some sort of weird offshoot for no apparent reason. Alright. Um, okay, so I know that was... I think that's all the ice that was in this area. So let's head through the library. And I can't remember if there was any ice in there. I don't think so, though. But still, I'll take a run through. And if I find anything, I'll show you guys. I don't see anything. What's down? Oh. What's this? I didn't see this before. Oh man. Life shard. 
Awesome. I never noticed that the first time through. Okay. Um, not ice, but still cool. Okay, so I just entered the choking ground. Um, I'm gonna head over this way. I think there was ice down here. No. I thought there was an area in the choking ground with ice. Smash. Beat some guys up, I guess. For the fun of it. Um trying to think. I know there was some ice around here somewhere, at least I thought. Man, these guys got a lot of health. I also got a tip from someone saying to destroy all of the, uh, the cross graves. Someone left a private message for me. said I missed something in here, this area, so I should check this out while I'm here. Any more of them? Oh, another one over here. Oh wait, there's another cross grave over here. Oh! Life shard. See? That seems weird to me. See, if someone hadn't have sent me a private message saying go destroy all the crosses in this area, cross graves in this area, how would I, I like, I just, I don't think I would have found that. That's just really obscure, like, smash everything in an area. Uh, well, not everything, but the cross graves. But I ended up smashing everything because I didn't know where that last one was. Um, okay, well, I'm going to head this way and head down into the tunnels over here because I know there's some more ice over here. Okay, and now in here, this piping system, I believe... Yes, ice right over here. So let's take this ice out. And what's back here? Oh, another champion artifact. It's a thousand souls. Awesome. And then continuing onwards. I don't think there's any more ice in here, so I'm just going to skip ahead to the next area. Okay, and we're in this next area here. Um, I don't remember any ice in here, but I could be wrong. Um, oh, right, there's that little yellow thing there. Forgot about that. Let's see here. No ice up here, but what is this thing? Oh, weird. I can't do anything with it. Just a little yellow glowing orb. It looks like uh, when the guardians give me sight sort of thing, those little um, eye challenge things. Where it's sort of like kind of in existence, but kind of faded out. Okay, well, I'm going to use Vulgrim Tunnels and head over to the Twilight Cathedral. Because I know there was ice in the front there that I can, uh... That I can smash. Okay, we're at the Twilight Cathedral. Um, ice here to smash. And then I think... Um, I need to head back 
towards the dungeon I was just in, and then we can move on. Oh, some souls. Nice bonus 500 souls there. Okay, and yeah, take the serpent holes back towards uh, Samuel's place, and then I'll work my way back towards Uthane. Oh, not talk, serpent hole. Uh, so here. Okay, I worked my way through these tunnels. Um, we're in the Drowned Pass. Yeah, the tunnels in there had... There's still some areas there I can't get to, but I think it needs other items other than the ability to smash ice. But in here I know there's quite a few ice spots, I think. Um, I know for sure up this way. And also there's that block that I now know I na need to smash a sword on the side of it for it to raise. There's one of those in here as well that I didn't realize that's what I had to do, so I had skipped it. Um, oh, another shard. Yes, okay, up to two, halfway towards another wrath bar. And then... Uh, can't go anywhere really from here. Can't get over to that one. I think I need a different item to get that. Not sure what yet. Um, swim faster away from the fish. Yes, right here. See, I didn't realize that there was a sword here. Oh, wait. Oh, do I have to swim under? Yeah, there we go. Come on. Jump, jump. Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch on in time. Oh, maybe this one doesn't drop back down after a little bit of time. What's with this one here? See, some of these look silverish, some of these chests. Another shard. I'm one more shard away from yet another life bar. Okay. And then... There's no more ice in this section, but I remember there being ice uh, in the tunnel leading towards Uthane's area. So over here... Oh, what the heck? These guys are just going to be random enemies that are going to be roaming around from now on. Not cool. I'm gonna just run past it and pretend it's not there. If I don't believe in it, then it doesn't exist. And in here, yeah, there's an area I can get past now. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, another shard of wrath. Yep, now I need one more Wrath Shard and I'll get uh, another bar. Okay, so, um, is there anything else in this area? I don't think so. I think that was it. 